are excited to welcome you to this lovely channel welcome once more my lovely subscribers today we are asked to find the value of x all values of x okay if x squared minus 2 brackets all squared is equal to x plus 2 all right now let's tackle what we have here on the left hand side recall that a minus b all squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab okay so that means that this will be x squared all squared plus 2 squared minus 2 multiplied by x squared multiplied by 2 is equal to x plus 2. So remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So that means that this will give us x to the power of 2 times 2 which is 4 plus 2 squared is 4 minus 2 times 2 is 4 times x squared is 4x squared is equal to x plus 2. Now let's transfer x plus 2 to the other side, okay? So if we do that, we have x to the power of 4 plus 4 minus 4x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so we have x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared, then minus x. 4 minus 2, we give you plus 2, is equal to 0. We give you minus 2, right? Plus 4 minus 2, yeah, we give you plus 2. That is it. Is equal to 0. Now, at this point, let's factorize this and this. What they have in common is x squared, right? So if we bring out x squared, x to the power of 4 divided by x squared, we have x squared remaining minus 4x squared divided by x squared, we have 4 remaining. Then minus 1, because that is what they have in common. Minus x divided by minus 1 is x. And plus 2 divided by minus 1 is minus 2. Is equal to 0. So, we have x squared bracket x squared minus. Now, 4 is same thing as 2 squared. Minus 1 bracket x minus 2 is equal to 0. Please click the subscription button and turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing us, okay? Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing and tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace, okay? Thank you very much. So recall that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So we have x squared bracket so this becomes x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 okay then minus 1 bracket x minus 2 is equal to 0 now for this side and this side they have x minus 2 in common right so let's factorize that x minus 2 when this is divided by this we are left with x squared multiplied by x plus 2. So we have x squared bracket x plus 2. Then when the whole of this is divided by this minus 1 will remain minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have x minus 2. Then x squared times x will give us x to the power of 3. x squared plus 2 will give us plus 2x squared. Then minus 1 is equal to zero. All right, from here, remember that when you say that AB is equal to zero, if AB is equal to zero, this implies that A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero. So that means that we can express this as X minus two is equal to zero 
or x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have x is equal to 2 for the first value of x. So I'm going to write it somewhere. I know you can't see it. I'm sorry. So x is equal to 2. That's the first value of our x. Then coming to this side, this is where we are going to twist this a bit in order to get the value of our x. So to do that, I'm going to print part of this. Yeah. So we have x to the power of 3 plus, excuse me, plus 2x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, um, I'm going to add 1 and subtract 1. Remember that minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So if I add 1 and subtract the same 1 as well, I've not actually changed anything. So that is the little manipulation we need to do here in order to introduce um, algebra identity to get in um, here. So we're going to have x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared minus 1 plus 1, then minus 1 is equal to 0. So we can now solve this as x to the power of 3 plus 1, all right, then plus 2x squared minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 is equal to zero. Now we have four things, so we can factorize as well. Remember that one is same thing as one to the power of three. And a to the power of three plus b to the power of three is equal to a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared. Therefore, we can write this as x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus x times 1, which is x, plus 1 squared, which is 1. Then plus, here they share 2 in common, right? 2x squared divided by 2, we give us x squared. And minus 2 divided by 2, we give us minus 1, right? Is equal to zero all right now if we solve for that we have x plus one bracket x squared minus x plus one plus two bracket i can write this as one squared so that i will use difference of two squares here as well so this becomes i'm going to clean part of this so that this will enter okay so we have x plus 1, x plus 1 here. So we bring out 1, x plus 1, open bracket. When this is divided by this, this will remain. So we have x squared minus x plus 1, all right? Now when this is divided by this, two brackets x minus 1 will remain. So we have plus 2 bracket x minus 1 is equal to zero okay so we have x plus one open bracket we have x squared minus x plus one plus two times x is plus two x plus two times minus one is minus two is equal to zero now let's solve for the if we do that we will have we will have x plus one bracket x squared minus x plus two x we give us plus x and plus one minus two we give us minus one is equal to zero. So again we can say that x plus one is equal to zero and that x squared plus x minus one is also equal to zero so we have x is equal to minus one and this becomes the second value of our x then here we have a quadratic equation that we need to solve using the quadratic equation formula and this uh, in this equation our a 
is coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is coefficient of x, which is 1. Our c is our constant, which is minus 1. The formula states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Therefore, x will be equal to minus minus 1 plus or minus the square root of, now b squared, that is 1 squared, minus 4, multiplied by a, which is 1, multiplied by c, which is minus 1. Everything divided by 2, multiplied by a, which is 1. So x is equal to minus minus is plus. So we have 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. Everything divided by 2. Therefore, we are going to have the value of our x to be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus minus is plus divided by 2. Therefore, x is 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. Then we can say that the third value of x is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. And the fourth value of x is 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. And that is the solution. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.